Again here for Devin Wade. First play was good for six yards, and he's got more, and man, he's going to get extra with that face mask penalty. It's going to give him 15 yards. Five wide empty set as Wade getting blitzed by the Cougars. Throws across his body and able to find his tight end in chunks. Pressure coming. Throws broken tackle and Hartman has just been killing it. And again Wade in the backfield by himself is going to step up. Scramble to the end zone. Touchdown Bulls. What a play by Mr. Wade. And this is what's made him even more scary. It's the first year where they've really let this guy use his legs. Third and three. And that's going to be caught, but wrapped up. And he will be two yards short of the first down. And they'll run this one. What a cutback. Nice juke move throughout this season. Read option, Devin Wade is on the outside. Big gain here, so get to the 31. Inside run, and there goes David Jones. Second and two, back inside, and Jones. They go right back on the ground as he breaks a few tackles to the end zone, touchdown, and this is just sad here for the Cougars. They cannot make tackles. They're getting pushed around. These guys don't even look like they want to play tonight. That's just, look at this. That's, that's three Cougars who had a chance to tackle David Jones. And they don't even wrestle him down. Gino Gannon stepping up in the pocket. Going to be sacked on the play by Derek Herrera. This Bulls team, the defense is killing it from the gate the offense have scored two touchdowns I mean look at this everything on lock and Geno Gannon on his back come back and get something going here and that is going to be Darnell Hodge with a nice outside run motions over to the left and the handoff to Hodge is going to be good Inside play action, feeling some heat, and just like that, pressure coming in, a 10-yard loss off the sack. And Gino Gannon was trying to buy himself some time, but he couldn't even do that. And again, sacked on the play. I mean, this is just complete breakdown of the offensive line here. I mean, they are just getting manhandled. That's Look, two guys on their back. That's a great job by Gabe Stringer. Hand off. Hodge is going to fumble the football, and it's going to be the Brooklyn Bulls ball at the 43. I mean, this is just wow. Oh, what a play by Stringer. Comes from behind and punches that ball out. Has a sack earlier within this one. Jack Brown recovers it, the 43-yard line. Counter run play, and look at this, another big lane. Devin Wade underneath man. He's got the first down. Defense gonna be pressed up here at the bottom of the screen, look out for that. As they will actually go to run it. And this is going to be a touchdown, Bulls. And there goes that magic number where no team after, if, after they knock down this extra point has been able to return from this season they go with an outside run play there and great job by Joe Johnson he sold as if he was going down the field and ran Gonzalez completely away from where the run was going and Hodge is just shut down nothing going here and they go with a draw play that is stuffed in the backfield for a loss of three. They got to punt this away, but it's showing. These guys are just simply gassed out. And there goes a play. Tommy Martin getting the sack second and 20 on a five-yard gain. Gannon stepping up in the pocket, and down he goes for a sack. This defense is going crazy right now. That's a nice throw. Chidoy Bolichak. 
Gabe Stringer has been dominating the outside. Throw to Hodge, good for a first down. Still not in field goal range yet. He's got to hair up, snap this football. Quick throw, catch is made. We've got one of the stronger leg kickers in the RFL here. It's Jerome Davis. Kick is up, and it is easy money. And in motion. And off. And I think he's got enough for first. They will give it to him. This Lions got to step up if they want to try to get some type of production on offense. Here goes a throw. What a catch. First down by Matt Smith. No open to go to. But when they come off the edge like this, like you're seeing right now, and he still is able to make a beautiful pass to Smith. That's when they run into trouble as a penalty, and he's going to get extra yards for roughing the passer. What a play by Gannon. Gannon. Jump ball there. It's going to be caught to first down. Contavious Henderson one-on-one. -on -one. Give me that. Gianni Shiloh. Don't got the bounce. And looking to pass. Gino Gannon throws. Touchdown. Cougars. What a play. Contavious Henderson in for six. Just the drive. The Cougars need it there. Let's get a look at this again. Steps up in the pocket. Guns it in there to his top receiver. And there goes a motion from the slot. Hand off. And the Cougars might just be waking up. And look at this. Hand off. Boom. Shuts it down. Looking for one more stop. Pressure. That's not being able to get there. Oh, what a catch by David Jones. Almost jumped on. Oh, he's one of the most talented all-around running backs in the RFL, man. He can catch. And Jones will get another carry and push forward for a first down. First and 10 at the 45, looking to pass. Pressure's coming down. He goes for a sack. Cedric Friedman. Going to bring him down for a loss of five. See him just getting there before Devin Wade was about to make that decision to let it go. The Cougars really going to need to generate some kind of pass rush here. Get some heat on them, and that's what they will do. Throws on the move. Throws an interception. This is going to be picked off by the Cougars at the 44-yard line. What a play by Philly Jones. It got that pressure that I was talking about and Devin Wade just throwing up a wild ball there just right to him. 21 point deficit. They'll run the football and here goes Hodge running through tackles on his feet. What a run by the rookie. Gets to the 15 yard line and that looked like a Miami run right there. Look at the blocking, look at the acceleration speed and strength and balance. As Hodge, boom, runs right through shallow, um, Shiloh, excuse me. And for a second there, I thought he was going to be all the way gone. Five wide empty set, third and five. Gannon, he's got to throw it away. Look to cut the deficit to eight. Easy chip shot field goal for Jerome Davis. For the first down, it's third and three. Devin Wade looking to pass for it, throws, and it is caught by Brock Melton. And almost intercepted Keanu Jones, wasn't letting it slide that time. Picking up only 54 yards rushing today. Gino Gannon's got to throw this ball away. And he doesn't, takes the sack. That is a huge loss, 15 yards. Can't put that on the offensive line. Just Holding on to it too long. Astaire Carrera in on another one. Gino Gannon hit as he throws again. That's incomplete shoulder. Bit of a reach. And a wide open Joe Johnson putting on a move. Johnson left wide open. And here goes Jones with a nasty juke move. Another one. First down, Bulls. Oh, what a nasty juke move right there. He was just collecting ankles. Nine-yard gain. Second and one. Handoff. Easy walk-in touchdown. And the Bulls 
may have just sealed things right there. Just what they needed. But the offense for the Chicago Cougars could not make anything happen of it. Lost field position. Gave great field position to the Bulls. And they capitalize on a 47-yard drive. And Gino Gannon is going to throw this away. They'll run for it, and Hodge will answer. And that, man, I bet Chicago fans' hearts dropped right there. And that looked like that was going to shut down the backfield for a loss immediately. Third and eight, Gino Gannon is going to bomb it down the field. Contavious Henderson's got the ball. Touchdown, Cougars. What a catch. There's a flag, however, on the field, and I think it's going to be for pass interference. So this will stand. Touchdown, Cougars. Dialed up the launch codes, and this game is not over yet. Play action, Heat's coming, down he goes for a sack, and the tide is turning fast. And that was dead from the get-go. Look at Sherman getting faked out a little bit. But then he gets some help, and they shut it down. Edmund Whiting, veteran, defensive end. Looking to pass, Heat's coming, throws. It's caught, but not enough for the first down. Keanu Jones wrapping up Melton. And this is it. They're going to force the punt and more than likely have one last chance to try to tie this game up. Two minutes and 37 seconds. Gino Gannon throws. And Hodge takes a big hit. Gino Gannon sent up the running back screen. And he's got it. Hodge fighting through the contact. Gino Gannon going to throw it deep down the field. Oh, it's going to be dropped by Matt Smith. Good defense there. Third and eight. Gino Gannon getting blitz quickly throws. Catch is made by Contavious Henderson. What a stop route. He just stops right in his tracks, high points it. Gino Gannon in the pocket, going backwards, throws. He's got Henderson again. He is going off. There's going to be an injury to their top pass rusher as well. Gino Gannon quickly fires. Shadoui Bully Jack getting bounced around. Down by eight points. Gino Gannon looking. He's got to throw it away. Sat on the play. Henderson all by himself at the top of the screen. He'll throw underneath. Matt Smith down to the 12. And they will call a timeout. They need at least nine yards on this next play. And this is the last shot they have to get it. It is fourth down. Tino Gannon looking. Looks like it's man-to-man. -man. Covers throws. End zone. Touchdown, Cougars. Contavious Henderson on his head again. Three touchdowns for KH. Unbelievable performance here. Oh my goodness, and that is on their top quarterback, Tavares Golson. Give me that. Unbelievable. And this for the tie. Gino Gannon looking, throws. They've got it. Two point conversion is good. 28 all. They have come back from a 21 point deficit. Incredible. Oh my goodness. And Wade just going to run this one. Shut down. Cougars have all the momentum. No timeouts. And here we go, guys. Get your fives or OTs in the chat ready. We're heading into overtime here in Chicago. 28 28. An instant classic in the RFL. And the Cougars have won the coin toss last time. They won the coin toss against the Huskies, and it was a pick six that sealed the deal, unfortunately, for the Cougars. Can this time around be different? They're running routes. I thought I took them off. 
Here go the throw. Contavious Anderson. First down, Cougars. It's been wreaking havoc ever since. Play action. Geno Gannon. Got a connection. Broken tackle by Matt Smith. First down, Cougars. Looking to throw. He's got a man. And guess who? Contavious Henderson. First down, Cougars. Gannon throws up the field. Trying to fight for the first down. He falls two yards short. What a tackle by Tavares Golson. For a second there, thought Hodge was going to be able to break that. But, man, Golson fought for dear life. And they're going to go for it. They said, uh-uh. Forget a field goal. This is Locker in the backfield. They're going to call a toss play. And it's not going to work. Oh, man, they should have just kicked the field goal. And now it's sudden death. Out of the eye formation, excuse me. And they're going to go with some play action here. Shot down the field. Oh, it's caught. What a play. Catch is made by Deriantre Machiavelli, and they are now in field goal range to win it. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? That ball was placed as perfect as it could be. Not even... Polk could even make a play on that. Devin Wade looking to pass. Fumbles the football and it's going to be recurred by the Cougars. A foot race. Unbelievable. This is going to be the game for the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Chicago. They have done it. Unbelievable. just happened the Chicago Cougars are going to win it in overtime and the veteran Edmund Whiting takes it to the crib you can't make this up this oh my goodness the Chicago Cougars are going to be the first team this season to ever come back from a 21 point victory in season eight. And they get it done in OT this time around, 34 to 28. Oh my goodness. Let's get GG's in the chat. Hashtag instant classic, RFL classic, whatever you want to point, put in the chat. Don't leave this without hitting that like button, guys. You guys have just seen one of the best games in RFL history.